Hey campers, George here. And yep, working on uh, some stuff in the uh, man cave again. And uh, this time I've decided I've got to get onto my axes and their handles. I've been talking about improving the handle, taking off that varnish that's on the handles on my axes and replacing it with boiled linseed oil. And what I did was I went down to the local hardware store and found this. See it's sunny side boiled linseed oil and it just says quality finish for woodwork, furniture, antiques, that sort of thing. And this is what everybody's talking about when you want to take care of your axe handle. And when you get it from the manufacturer and it has that coating on it, you need to get rid of that and start using boiled linseed oil on it uh, to maintain your axe handle. So I thought I'm going to get on it. I have a little bit of time here, so I'm going to start. And I'm starting on my Woods Chogan Camp Axe, the T-Hawk. And I, I did a video of that, did a quick review on it. And what I'm busy doing right now is taking off this sports tape that I had on it because my hand kept slipping on the handle when I was using it, especially when I had gloves on. And safety, you always wear gloves. It was a problem for me, looked it up online, went to a couple of channels on YouTube, and they all say linseed oil especially boiled linseed oil so, and I just want to show you the axe right now this is the handle with varnish or whatever the, the the stuff is that they put on it and what I'm going to do is scrape it off and I've got to get it scraped off as much as I can get all of it off and then I'm going to start coating it with linseed oil and it's it's quite a process and you want to keep repeating that process until you can see that the oil is not actually soaking in so that's what I want to do right now. There's a couple of ways to get the varnish off. You can sand it off. There's all sorts of different ways. You know, sandpaper is probably the most common. Uh, but I did see, I was watching Wrangler Star, this guy here. And he, uh, he shows a couple of different ways to do it. And one of them was just using a knife blade. And all you're going to do is just scrape it off. And if you look here, you see there, that's the varnish that's on there. You just scrape away at the handle. You want to follow the grain obviously of the handle and just scrape it away. So I want to get rid of all that so I'm going to get onto that and uh, scrape away and get them all gone. You want to get around the edges here on this part on top here especially. This is going to take a lot of the oil and at the bottom as well. So just scrape away. No need to go crazy on it. You you don't want to change the shape of your handle or anything like that. You just want to get that varnish off. Let's do this. There's a bunch on here. And it's really thick on top. In fact, you can see... If you look there, let me get that focused in. Can you see there? That's actually, they must have hung the hacks this way uh, when they uh, put the varnish on because it all pulled in the bottom here. So I've got to get rid of that stuff. And there's a bunch of it on. Already just feeling the wood, what a difference. You can really feel better grip on it than on this side. And obviously, it, uh, you know, it's a little rough from me scraping. And I'll probably use some scotch Bright to rub on it. Maybe clean it up after I put the oil on, I think. So uh, I might do a little bit before, put the oil on and then do it again. So once uh, I've got everything in there. So you can see the difference there. Uh, hopefully you can see it's a little darker here and how wide it is on the other side. 
Now, once you put the oil in, the oil really brings out all the grain and everything of the wood, and you'll see that later on. So you just have to keep working at it. I like to take long strokes at it, because when you put the knife down, you're nicking your thing every time you do it. So I figure a longer stroke, less nicks. So. It just takes some persistence. Okay, so I've uh, returned back from my trip to San Diego and uh, had to visit my, my kids. And came back, started working on this again. I've scraped off all that varnish. It's all gone now. So the next step now is to put on the boiled linseed oil. And how I plan on doing that is I'm going to use a cloth, just a regular uh, kitchen cloth, and I'm going to put the linseed oil on there and then wipe it down with it. Uh, get as much on there as I can while I get all this off. <laughs> Took me, I'm going to say, about, about two hours to scrape it all off, to check it over. And the way I checked it over was I just held it in the light to see if I could see any shiny bits and that would be obviously the leftover varnish that was on the handle. So now what I have to do is I've got to put the linseed oil on. Okay that turned out to be a little bit more dramatic than I thought it was going to be. I couldn't get the lid off. You have to, it's got a safety on it. You have to push down. You have to push down on the lid and turn it. And I did that and uh, it just seemed to slip. I actually landed up having to use these. What do you do? So what I'm going to do now is get some linseed oil on here. And uh, let's put it on and see what happens. So I'm just going to wipe a little bit on because I want to try it first. Hmm. You can see it's darkening already. So I'm going to put that on. What I'm going to do is put a bunch of linseed oil on here. Like that. He says making a mess. And I'm going to wipe the whole handle with it. So here we go. And I want to put it on as evenly as I can over the whole of the handle but I want to get a bunch on it because I want to get as much on as it'll take and then let it sit for a couple of hours make sure you get it all over and then put another coat on and just keep putting on coats until the linseed oil stops sinking into the into the wood it stops getting absorbed by the wood so I'm going to keep doing that. You can see here, I've got quite a bit on there, but I don't think it's enough. I actually want to put more on. So I'm going to keep doing that and then I'm going to let it sit. And then we'll have a look at it maybe in the morning. So uh, I've put about four good wiping sessions on this thing with a couple of hours in between each one till right away the grip on this is totally different to when it had that uh, varnish on it. I, I, the, the difference is, is amazing. It's amazing. I, I'm going gonna, gonna to have to do this on my other axe. It's kind of hard to explain. You know, when you scrape off that, that varnish and see it here, the, the linseed oil brings out the wood. It really brings out the color in the wood. It's not just protecting the wood, it actually makes it look nice. The grip is just so much better. It's almost, I don't want to say rough, but it, it allows you to really hold on to it. It's not going to slip in your hand and it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. I really like the way it's come out, you can see here. This handle is actually, it's pretty cool. It's a really light wood on this side and dark on that side. So it really shows what linseed oil can do to wood. And now 
I'll just leave it to sit for a while, probably in about a month. Uh, I'll put another coat on it, maybe do that for a couple of months and put a coat on every now and again. One thing I, I do want to talk about is to maintain your axe, whatever axe it is. Once you've put the linseed oil on the handle and everything and you, you keep that, like I said, you keep doing it, you put a lot on it first and then in a month you'll put another coat on and another month put another coat on and then after a couple of months you should be good then at least once a year you want to go through and maintain all your tools and make sure they're in good order when you're using it and you come back and you're done with it and you're going to put it away before you put it away just have a look at it and make sure it's it, it looks good if it looks a little dry maybe put some more linseed oil, uh, linseed oil on it on the actual axe head obviously you've got to maintain that as well the types of steel that they're using makes it very susceptible to rust so you've got to take care of this as well now some people just use the I, i've just put linseed oil on here and all you're doing it is giving it a protective coating to stop it from rusting just generally clean up the the axe head and then you're going to put it away there's all there's all different types of oil one thing I did notice was a couple of people did mention using gun oil. The difference with gun oil is when you put it on, it actually dries. It dries up and it leaves a nice coating on it so that, you know, it, it won't rust. Obviously, if you're chopping away, the coating comes off and you have to put it back on. But gun oil seems to be the way everybody goes. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the local uh, sporting goods store here in town and get me some gun oil. Having read up on linseed oil, <laughs> after I used it, of course, on, on here, obviously, they give you precautions. It says, right here on the can, it says, caution, oil-soaked materials may spontaneously combust. The rag or whatever you use, the cloth, to do your linseed oil in that, you're going to have to either wash it somehow or soak it in water when you put it in your trash because there's a chance if you just throw it into your trash it's going to combust so keep that in mind so be really careful with the linseed oil you just want to store all this stuff in a safe place um, i don't recommend storing it in your house if you have a garage maybe put in your garage in a, in a cupboard uh, a steel cupboard of it's just good practice so this one's all done It'll be put up for a month, get all soaked in there, and then I'll put another coat on again and, and repeat, like I said before. The other thing is, I have a leather guard for this. I, I wasn't sure what I should be using to maintain my leather. Obviously, you can get oils and that for, for leather, but it's leather. It's just like your shoes. Use polish. Just shoe polish. And polish it up and, you know... The polishes you buy today, they designed to keep the leather in good working order and it'll make it nice and shiny. You can actually polish it up and look, look really nice. It's really important to maintain that. This guard is very important. If you don't have one for your axe, you need to get one. If you don't have a guard for your axe, highly recommend you get one. This is all set up. You're done using it. You go camping, whatever. When you come back, before you put it away, clean it up. And when you're cleaning it up, you want to check the handle and sharpen your axe before you put it away so that when you go camping next time, you don't have to worry about sharpening it. Do it when you get home, you're all set the next time you're going to go camping. Just like any tool, um, if you look after it, it'll look after you. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. I'm pretty sure I'll be back with some more stuff. In fact, uh, my next project, obviously, would be my camp axe, my cold steel. I want to do the same thing as well. And there is leather on there as well. So I'm going to get me some polish and then get some gun oil for the head. Just saying. Thanks for watching. Bye.